Oh, hi Dexter, hi Cosmo. How are y'all today? Yes, I am having big amusement park withdrawals, but Kingsman is open today. That's right, they're only open on weekends from now on, but we were so spoiled with summer, weren't we? We can go see Raptera, which I'm sure has had a lot of great construction going on. We can also ride Delirium for the first time in two years. That's awesome, isn't it? And we get to see Haunt construction. We all know how much I love Haunt. <laughs> Let's go. Huh, it's been two weeks. Feels like forever since we've been here. So nice to be back. Drink plan plus time. It's coffee this time. Uh, Sweet Frog here in Plan Snoopy makes the best coffee for this. So if you have the drink plan plus looking for coffee, Sweet Frog is the place to go. <laughs> All right, the big reveal. What has happened? since I last was here two weeks ago. Whew. You've gotta be kidding me. So last time I was here, they were working on the s turn and ended about right there. Now, they do all this. The turn over the pat the midway I was really excited for. And wow. They 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 even finished that inversion right there. And they're also working on the uh, airtime hill that they're gonna do there. Like they already have a track piece in. We'll, we'll get a better view over there, but wow. This is reminding me of hypersonic. You know how hypersonic used to go over the midway over by uh was Timbers? Or what was Hurlin? This gives off that sort of vibe. It's amazing. This is going to be a great way to welcome guests into this section of Jungle X. I'm excited. Look at how close you're gonna get to the track. Oh my god. Same with over there at the midway at this turn. Also, construction crew is working as we speak right now. So yeah, you'll do that turn. And then right here, here's that inversion. Way bigger than I thought it would be. And then right there, they are already working on the airtime hill. It's gonna go over the launch. You know, I think Dexter and Cosmo approve. That's cool. You know you two probably could have saved Volcano, right? <laughs> okay. I was not expecting this view to look like this. We have just always been seeing the dive loop. You really see how big this inversion is when you come over here, right by Flight of Fear and I-305. Oh my gosh, it's huge. We've also got Raptera being advertised on the fun TVs, which is nice. Yep, she's running really fast today. That is awesome. 
All right, that was a lot to take in and it was absolutely amazing. So let's, let's, uh, let's get our first meal of the day at Outpost Cafe. I miss my beef. As expected, there is haunt construction going on. This is for the fear maze here in Plant Snoopy at the old Skyride building. This building has had several mazes throughout the years. Uh, I know uh, Blackout was in here, the Doll Factory, 21, which was before Fear. 21 was the like the predecessor to Fear. I never got the chance to walk through Fear last year, but I did get to walk through 21 the year before. I will agree it wasn't like the coolest maze out there. However, I know budget got in the way of it. And so what Fear is, is what 21 was supposed to be. So I really hope I get to walk through this this year. As for a lot of people, Fear was their favorite haunt maze last year. Yeah, not Blood on the Bayou, not Condemned. It was Fear. So that's awesome. Really looking forward to haunt this year. Coming over to Candy Apple Grove, we see that the Cleaver Brothers Carnival Scare Zone is now going up. This has always been my personal favorite scare zone during Haunt. It's been here for years. And right here, this is where they have that uh, Black Widow show. Um, really nice show. I have a phobia of clowns. Y'all let that sink in. I have a phobia of clowns, and this is my favorite scare zone here. <laughs> It's just so beautifully well made, and oh, uh, they so I, we used to say they they moved the uh, cool Jack in the Box animatronic. It was usually over there, but I guess they moved it over here. This is also one of my favorite things. Uh, every now and then, it kind of comes up and says like "Pop Goes the Weasel" and plays some great music. It's really great. And I also love the music they play in this scare zone too. It's really awesome. Yes, I know it's August, but why not start early? As we can see here, they are putting up lights for Winterfest already. That is awesome. This section is really nice during Winterfest. It's got like the cool white lights on all these trees. Winterfest is probably my favorite event here. I don't know. I always go back and forth between Winterfest and Haunt. I enjoy both. Obviously, you know, with Haunt, it's, you know, you have the whole park open but you know it gets super crowded Winterfest is more laid back it's got great decorations and obviously they don't have all the rides open but the decorations and atmosphere make up for it their river raft ride Whitewater Canyon is now back open that is awesome over here at the old action theater they are already doing construction for their newest haunt maze this year monster con uh, I will put the backstory of this maze in the description below. But uh, I'm, while I'm very excited to see how well this maze does, I am a little bummed out that they're replacing Condemned. Condemned was in this uh, building for several years. It was one of my favorite mazes here. So that's, that's, that's sort of a bummer. But I feel like Monster Con will still be pretty nice. I mean, I like the name. I do like the backstory. So I have high hopes for this maze. Hopefully it does pretty well. Plan is Snoopy, the place for you and me. Yes, bye and bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, everybody. See you later. And then the biggest update so far. Delirium is back open after being closed for two years, I think. Yes, two years. Oh, this feels nice. <laughs> Really nice being back on Delirium again after two years. 
it apparently got new restraints and I will say it didn't feel as tight as the old one so that's awesome. I also got some airtime going up at its max point. I don't remember getting that uh, the last time I wrote this. Maybe those new restraints are helping so that's awesome. I never thought the route would honestly open again so kudos to Kingsman for getting this open again. Now there's still one left to open up. <laughs> yes. Eiffel Tower is still closed. <laughs> Over here on the right of the main entrance gate, they have this cool setup here of exclusive season pass holder merch at the park, which is really nice. You got a hoodie, a t-shirt, a hat, coffee cup, crossbody bag, coffee mug, as well as stickers. I know I will definitely be getting one to put on the back of my car. I have a Bush Gardens one, so it'll be nice. And a Hershey one, so it'll be really nice to complete the set. Um, so we got, the hoodie is $40, which is really well priced. It's really nice to see them creating like merch like this for us. All right, that is gonna do it from King's Dominion today. There has been so much going on since the last time I was here. It was so nice to see all the updates, such as Raptera, Haunt Construction, looking great. Delirium back open, which is so awesome. Winterfest lights already going up. So nice to be back. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.